So if you read the original text, the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, is even mentioned in the Bible. Sister is asking, then why don't the Christians believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Sister, you should ask this question to the Christians. I asked this question to hundreds of Christians. Alhamdulillah, some of them accepted Islam. Ashahadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Rasuluhu. Rasuluhu. I bear witness. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'du. Teman-teman yang dirahmati Allah Subhanahu wa taala, pada video kali ini saya akan membagikan sebuah video menarik dari Dr. Jakir Naik. Di mana pada video ini ada seorang wanita Kristen yang sudah mempelajari Islam. Namun dia masih merasa heran Mengapa masih banyak umat Kristen yang tidak mau menerima Nabi Muhammad SAW? Padahal, namanya sudah jelas tertulis dalam kitab bebalnya sendiri, dalam bahasa aslinya. Seperti apa penjelasan dari Dr. Jakir Naik? Mari kita saksikan sama-sama videonya. So we have a non-Muslim on any of the sisters' mics? We have a non-Muslim. Okay, go ahead sister. Assalamu alaikum. I'd like to ask if you could shed some light on a verse in the Bible. It's the Old Testament, Solomon chapter 5, verse 16. It's the Hebrew text. Hiko mamitikim, wikulo Muhammadim, zidude wazara'i baine. Jerusalem. I know that in English, Muhammadim has been translated to altogether lovely. What I'd like to ask is why do Christians not know that Muhammad has been spoken about in the Bible? Well, the sister asked the question. She's given the Hebrew of the verse of the Bible from Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16, which says, Hikkum amitakim vikulli muhammadim zaidudi zairai baina Jerusalem. Which means, sister only translated one word, it means he's most sweet, he's altogether lovely, he's my beloved, he's my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. This is the complete translation of the Hebrew verse she quoted. And when it says hikkum amitakim vikulli muhammadim muhammadim in the semitic languages when you give respect you add m to it like allah is for god elohim is respect for god the so same thing to the name muhammad sallallahu they add m and it means it says muhammadim so if you read the original text the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, is even mentioned in the Bible. Sister is asking, then why don't the Christians believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Sister, you should ask this question to the Christians. I asked this question to hundreds of Christians. Alhamdulillah, some of them accepted Islam. Most of them did not. So I agree with you that the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the scriptures of most of the major world religions including Bible. And as I mentioned earlier, that not only is he mentioned by name, he's even prophesied in various different parts of the Bible. He's prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. He's also prophesied in the New Testament. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. In several places, sister. So that's what I asked to the Christian. If it's clearly mentioned about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then why don't they believe in him? Those Christians who really study and analyze and do research, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. The others who do not 
want to accept the truth and say, oh, I have been a Christian for 40 years. Now you want me to change my religion? So they are afraid. Many a time the ego comes in between. Many a time the society comes in between. Many a time what will my friends tell me? What would my customers tell me? So these things prevent them from accepting the beauty of Islam. What they fail to realize, they wouldn't mind offending their creator just to please their family and their friends. Pleasing our creator is more important than pleasing your family and friends. So those who realize the importance of creator, importance of Almighty God, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. Sister, I would like to ask you that are you a Christian or are you a Muslim? I've been studying Islam for about six months. MashaAllah. So do you believe now that there is one God? I do. Do you believe Jesus is God? Peace be upon him. No, I don't. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the messenger of God? Yes. MashaAllah. So if you believe there is one God, you believe Prophet Muhammad, messenger of God, and according to me, you are six months of research. Yes. <laughs> your six months of research have brought you to the truth, sister. Pardon, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Those are tears of joy. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> when a person realizes the truth, that's what even Quran says that when people hear the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the moment the believer, tears roll from their eyes. So these are tears of happiness and joy that you have found the truth. As Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you. So I believe the truth has freed you today, sister. Your six months of research has brought you to the truth. Sister, would you like to accept Islam? <laughs> sister, would you like to accept Islam? Yes. Is anyone forcing you? Absolutely not. You're doing a lot of your own free will? Yes. Inshallah, say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. <laughs> Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. <laughs> I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God. That there is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that that Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. That is the messenger and servant of Allah and the servant of Allah servant, servant of Allah MashaAllah sister you are a Muslim and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as he has guided you may Allah make you a source to guide the other non-Muslims towards Islam and I pray to Allah to grant you the best in this world and the akhirah and to grant you Jannah paradise inshallah Masya Allah, sudah sangat jelas sekali apa yang tertulis dalam kitab suci mereka Bahwa ada nama Nabi Muhammad SAW di dalamnya Dan sayangnya, ketika mereka menerjemahkan ke dalam bahasa Inggris Nama itu dirubah menjadi arti segala sesuatu yang menarik Padahal dalam bahasa Ibrani tersebut Kata akhiran im merupakan suatu penghormatan kepada seseorang Menurut hasil penelitian ahli bahasa Sangat jelas mereka sengaja menutupi kata ini dengan merubah kata Muhammad dengan arti yang lain Mungkin karena mereka khawatir Kalau kata Muhammad ini tetap ditulis dalam terjemahan bahasa Inggris Akan ada banyak umatnya yang akan masuk Islam Contohnya seperti wanita tadi Yang dia sendiri heran Kenapa umat Kristen tidak mau menerima Nabi Muhammad Sedangkan namanya sangat jelas tertulis dalam kitab Bible dalam bahasa aslinya Dan selain kata Muhammad dalam Bible Didukung juga dalam Bible dengan ayat yang lain yang memerintahkan umatnya untuk beriman kepada sosok Nabi Muhammad tersebut yang akan menuntun mereka kepada seluruh kebenaran Jadi, kebanyakan orang Kristen yang tidak mau beriman kepada Islam padahal nama Nabi Muhammad sudah jelas dinubuatkan dalam kitab suci mereka itu disebabkan karena adanya faktor ego yang besar yang mereka miliki Dia tetap mengikuti apa yang diajarkan oleh nenek moyangnya Jadi, agama yang diterimanya adalah agama warisan 
bukan agama hasil mencari kebenaran. Dokter Jakir Naik pun di sini memberi kesaksian. Sudah begitu banyaknya orang Kristen yang sungguh-sungguh mempelajari, menganalisa, dan mencari tahu tentang apa yang terkandung pada pesan dalam kitab Bible tersebut. Dan Alhamdulillah, mereka menerima Islam sebagai agamanya. Masya Allah. Baik, cukup sekian video yang saya bagikan kali ini. Semoga bermanfaat dan menambah keimanan kita. Barakallahu fikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.